Hey everyone, what's up and welcome back to my channel. What's up? What's what's going down? Hi, how are you? So it has been a while since being in a studio in front of you guys. As you may have known from this channel, I've been away in Dubai for a whole entire month. Whew! It's been it's been a short while. It's been a short while, but it's been amazing. It's been amazing. Thank you so much to all of the love on the vlogs. It was meant to be only one Dubai vlog, but it's turned into like a five part series. So if you haven't yet watched that and you want to see what we were up to, I literally went there with a the whole gang. Um, definitely go and check out those videos. But if you're watching this, as I was away, I had loads and loads of new PR, which has just come in. And I thought I'd go through it and wear the brand new launches and just do a full face and just play with makeup. I haven't sat here and just played with makeup in a long time. So hopefully this video will be still cute. So let's crack on with it. P.S. For anyone that is new here, hi, what's up? My name is Danny, and yeah, my channel is all about all things beauty, fashion, lifestyle, vlogs, the lot, the full shebang. So if you are new to the family, then definitely hit that like button, the subscribe button, and the bell button so you get a notification every single time I post a brand new video. And if you want to see me sit here, play with makeup, maybe grab a cup of tea, a snack, maybe grab some makeup too, and we can do it together, then let's do it. Okay, so P.S. Little disclaimer, I might be a little bit rusty because it's been a while since I did a full makeup look on camera. We're gonna start off with our skincare and Bobbi Brown have actually sent me some cute little bits. Actually, wait, let me just show, wait a second. So yeah, Bobbi Brown have basically sent me loads of skincare bits, which I'm super excited to try. We have a cleansing oil, we have a face base, which I guess is a face moisturizer, and also an eye base. And they also sent over this little lip balm, which I thought, oh, this is super cute. I always put a bit of lip balm before I start any tutorial, and my lips are so dry right now. This is what it looks like. It's very bougie. I love a lip balm. Ooh, okay. Okay, bougie boo. So usually I always have like a little lip balm in my bag. And I don't know, like, I feel like if I was gonna ever bring out a product, it'd probably be like a lip balm first, guys, because I love a lip balm. Mmm. Okay. It is a thumbs up from me. This is this is gonna be a keeper. Um, a lot of these products, obviously, they are brand spanking new, so I've never used them. So this is gonna be a first impressions, full face tutorial, all in one. And I just thought I really wanted to do something like this as opposed to sit down and just open boxes in front of you, because I just, I don't know, that's a bit boring, right? It's much more fun seeing me do this. Okay, next up, we are gonna go in with Thirst Trap Juice by Wishful Huda Beauty. Thank you so much for sending this, girl. I have been so excited to try this. Um, I'm a huge fan of Wishful and Huda Beauty. And honestly, I'm so gutted that whilst I was in Dubai, I didn't get a chance to catch up with her because I don't know if you guys know, but she's actually based, lives and works in Dubai. So this is what the product looks like. I was expecting it to be pink, but this is very cute. This is a hyaluronic acid and peptide serum. So let's give her a little shaky shaky. Okay. So it is a clear serum. Um, are you meant to be putting this before or after makeup? I have no idea, but I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it and make it up as I go along. Okay, that feels, that actually feels really nice. Yeah, I, I was actually not expecting it to feel like this. I thought it was gonna feel like really wet, but I feel like it absorbs into the skin really, really, really nicely and just leaves your skin quite smooth. So actually, this seems like a really good product for like before makeup application for sure. Yeah, it doesn't leave too much like residue. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this, I don't know what I'm doing. In case I sound crazy, I am so jet lagged. I've literally like just come back. Like I've been in London for literally like a couple of days. I'm still feeling the jet lag. You can probably hear it in my voice. I'm just like, <sighs> at like 9 p.m. I'm just like, Mm -mm. Goodbye. See ya. I'm falling asleep. Wherever I am, I'm just like, I'm alive, but I'm dead. But it's okay. I have my coffee. It's so good. But serum is on. Am I going to give this a. Oh my god. Wait. It's got some ingredients at the back. It says hyaluronic acid, peptides, aloe vera, and hollyhock rose. Hollyhock rose? Who's that? that? I've never heard of that. It says made in South Korea, though. Kudos to you, girl, because they are skincare experts. Um, so yeah, first impressions on this. 
kind of hard to tell with a serum, but I actually really like it. It is going to be a thumbs up from me just because I feel like I can wear it with or without makeup. Um, usually if I, I'm going to put a bit more. Usually if I do uh, put a skincare on at night, I kind of want it to be like really rich and leave leave a bit of residue but this is really 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 nice so i'm definitely going to be using this a little bit more see how i get on with this because i do love the wish range okay next on the skincare list is an amazing product from dior i'm saying amazing i have I have tried it twice <laughs> i did try it twice i got too excited by this as soon as i received it i was like wait liquid sun self tanning water sublime glow so I was like, okay, let me try it. You can see already I have opened the seal. I'm very honest with you guys. I'm very like, I just keep it real. Do you know what I mean? So, and I do love a Dior moment. Yeah, now. P.S. Let me just show you. I just got the, I got this little token from Dubai. Look. Oh, and Gary also got something from the store as well. And we're literally like, how cute is this little bracelet? It's so cute. So yeah, I'm a huge fan of Dior. And I have to say straight up, this is something that I think we all need right now. We've all been cooped up indoors. We're all feeling a little bit like dull. We all feel a bit like, oh, you know, so this is a sun in a bottle. When I tell you this smells insane, it smells so, so good. You just spritz it on. And apparently what it's meant to do is just like bring out a natural tan. So shake well before use, and it just gives you a moisturized skin look, which helps you achieve a luminous, natural looking tan. So all it does really, I think, is just give you a bit of a glow. I'm a huge fan of these just before I go to bed. I normally spritz on, sleep, and when I wake up, my skin has a little bit of a glow, which I love. And usually I do not fake tan my face and I never really uh, tan my face But obviously because I was in Dubai, I did get a little bit browner So this is me actually looking kind of tanned. You probably can't tell because the lights are quite strong But I'm, I'm brown. I'm bronze right now. Anyway, um, yeah We're just gonna let that soak into the skin and we're gonna move on to a primer I'm gonna do a full face of makeup guys. So I'm gonna try and keep things moving a little bit quickly um elf I've just been killing it with this whole like putty primer. They even have a trio now and I was a little bit shook. I remember when this first came out like ages ago and I tried it, I was like, oh, that's very unique, very, very different. And I feel like e.l.f. is just like a really fun brand. So we have a luminous one, a matte one and a poreless one. I'm gonna go for luminous today and I love how small these are. Now usually I'm not the biggest fan of like putties like this just because I feel like I've got quite big pores and I don't want anything to sit in them. But usually if you have got big pores, that's kind of like the best thing to kind of use. So let's apply a little bit of this. I'm using the luminous one on to the skin. And oh, I'm so excited to actually be like playing with makeup because I took the most basic bag of makeup to Dubai, big mistake. I thought to myself, oh, do you know what? I'm only there for five days. I'm not gonna need that much. Let me just take like a tinted satin satin. And then you know what? I was there for a month. So this actually feels really, really nice. Maybe it could have a little bit of luminosity. Personally, for me, I can see it has a slight light reflecting like golden luminosity, but I do love e.l.f. I feel like their products are really, really cute. I don't know how long this will last because I think I'm really going in. Like I've already used that much. And let's not forget about our forehead. Let's go ahead with this. Let's just pop some on there. Can you tell it's been a while since I've done my makeup? I'm a bit like, oh wow, I have a face. Okay, so this is it for skincare so far. I feel like my skin looks good. It is ready for makeup. If honest, if I'm really honest, it's a little bit less wet than I like it before going in with like foundation and stuff. Like usually I like a little bit of a, not, not slippery, but a little bit more of a moisturized base. But obviously with the putty, I think it's very like smoothing and stuff. So, so it is looking good. It is looking good, but yeah, let's move on to some makeup. Okay, so for foundation today, I'm actually going to be going in with the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Skin Finish. Uh, little disclaimer again, I have been using this whilst in Dubai and absolutely love it, but I haven't shown you what it looks like and I really wanted to show you what I think of it, how it looks, why I love it. So yeah, I haven't featured it yet guys and usually I'm like on it. So yeah, I'm gonna pop that on, but just before I do, I'm just gonna use a little bit of eye cream. This has just been my go-to eye cream recently. I actually uh, received this quite a while before it launched and it is the Brightening Dark Circle Eye Cream and this is from Ren. 
You guys know how much I love Ren. This isn't sponsored or anything, but I did work with them in promoting this launch of this product and I absolutely love it. I feel like it's a really, really, really good product. Personally for me, my under eyes are always like naturally darker because I'm Mediterranean and yeah, this just brightens it up. It leaves a beautiful like glow to the skin as well. Again, I'm not sure if you would see it with the lights. I'm not sure if you can see it, but on when you look at it like with natural daylight with a mirror, it's such a beautiful glow. Like I would even use this like on the cheek area so your cheeks kind of shine. It's actually so light reflecting. It's so, so beautiful. Okay, so literally what's really interesting is actually Huda and her team sent me three shades that I've not used before. So I was just swatching them across. There are so many shades in this uh, collection. So I'm gonna use Butter Pecan, which I haven't used before, but it looks really, really, really nice. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead with this and just apply it onto the face. And honestly, we all kind of received this, like Layla was using this, Twee was using this, I think even Gary was using this foundation. Like we were just loving this formulation so much. And then also the forehead, cause I know so many people are like, you never do your forehead. Yes I do. <laughs> I do honey, I do. Um, and then I'm gonna use this foundation brush, which I haven't used before. I was just using my regular brush. This brush, I love it. So this is the Smashbox uh, Blurring Foundation Brush. I'm obsessed. Because I'm curious and I'm in a fun mood, I'm gonna try this one from Huda Beauty. I mean, it's the brush that she brought out for this foundation, so I have high expectations. Okay, so one side is basically like a triangle kind of, maybe good for like underneath the eye. Wow, very dense, very soft. So very angular, and then the other side is more of just a really nice buffing brush. So let's go ahead with this. For me, this feels quite big. I don't know, maybe I have a little head. Wow, it's such a nice finish. I feel like, what I like about it personally, it looks like it's gonna be a cakey stick foundation, but it just kind of like blends into the skin like really, really, really nicely. Okay, it's nice. This this brush is maybe a bit too big for me personally. I feel like I'm lacking it in control. So I'm gonna go ahead with my Smashbox one just because I love this so much. I'm gonna go in a little bit more foundation, but I really like the shade. I feel like this is my shade. I, I was, you know, I was a bit confused because I was like, oh, now that I've caught the sun a little bit. So quick, so easy, so nice. I, I literally just shaved, but why do I always already have like a five o'clock shadow? Sis, why? Okay, I was literally just looking into the mirror thinking, <gasps> what, who? I literally love this foundation. Honestly, it's so, so good. I might have to do like a full review on just this foundation. I don't know why I didn't. Obviously I was away whilst this launched, but let me know if you want me to do like a full review or did I just do that now? I'm not sure but like it is such a nice foundation. I just want you to see how it looks on the skin and just for reference as well if you are similar skin shade or tone to me it's Butter Pecan 330N that I'm using. Um, now there weren't any new concealers or powders so I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera and I'll be back when we've got um, something new to use. Okay, so I literally just popped on some concealer. I'm actually mixing the Estee Lauder Double Wear concealer, which I popped on and I was like, oh, maybe, maybe that's a little bit light. So I then just went on with some uh, Kylie Jenner Skin Concealer in shade Maple. So yeah, I'm gonna let that just kind of settle. And whilst I'm doing that, I'm gonna do my brows. This is, this is literally what I use on my brows. The 24 hour brow setter from Benefit Cosmetics is literally all I've been using on my brows. It's actually crazy. But yeah, I'm actually amazed at like how efficient this works. So you basically just apply it on and then I just brush it up and it's kind of like a gel and it keeps your brows looking laminated all day. So I've been, you know, on a little bit of a brow journey. I think most of us have. So this is so easy. This is, look, this is how easy it is, guys. And I don't really have very good brows. So if I can do this, I'm just like channeling for all of you that have amazing brows and how this could just change your life. Because for me, I have only like three hairs, but even still, it's just so cute, like, like it's just like uplifted and it will just set and it just stays like that. You know, I think that's crazy. Like, it's so crazy. And when I tell you it will stay, it will literally stay all day. 
Boom. All right, so now that the brows are done, I'm just going to buff out this concealer. Nothing crazy here. There's no magic tricks. I'm just gonna buff out everything that I have. I don't know if I've even done like a proper like updated like routine with you guys recently, but this is kind of just what I've been doing, um, which has just been working for me. I definitely feel like I'm someone who like loves a dramatic look, uh, but on a day to day, I kind of just like keeping it like simple at the same time. Oh my God, did I go too light with this? Is this like crazy light? I feel like we could definitely make that work. Okay, we are back and this is how our complexion is kind of looking like. I'm not sure if it's my favorite complexion I've ever done, but we're moving, we're getting there. I feel like something's missing. I think we need to do eyes or highlight or refresh. I don't know, everything's looking a little bit drier than I'm used to. Anyway, we're gonna move on to eyes. And for eyes, we have the brand new Morphe and Karen collaboration. This is I Love Sorry. And wow, oh, she looks insane. Honestly, she's giving me a baddie vibes all the way. When we open this, it says Sweet Oasis Collection. When we open this, I mean, how aesthetic is that? She looks so hot. Wow. And in here we have the 35S palette. It's called the 35S Sweet Oasis palette. Okay, so it kind of comes out like this. And then behind there, we also have a brush set and also a mini lip gloss trio as well, which is super cute. Wait, let me see. I might use all of it. I might not, I'm not sure yet. Oh, I just love Morphe collabs. I feel like they do the best collabs and they truly understand like influencers and like, do you know what I mean? Like they just work with like the best people. They're so fun. They're so affordable. So the palette looks like this. I am living for this kind of like ombre moment on the actual packaging. And then inside, oh, wow, it's actually so pretty. It's so, so pretty. So I have high expectations with the formula. Obviously I want a standard Morphe formula because I love their formula so much. Um, I think I'm just gonna use my standard like Morphe brushes because I have a stash of them right here and I don't even know what look I'm gonna do. I don't know if I wanna do something crazy or not. I'm just gonna make it up. This is what I do. I just grab a color and we go. I haven't played with makeup for a while. Okay, so let's, let's not go too crazy. I'm gonna go with Sandbar, which is this really cute color. Wait, I need to show this to you because how cool is this color? It's very like coffee colored. All right, so I'm literally just gonna start with this shade. Yeah, as, as I'm blending, I always like to ask questions. What's everyone been up to, eh? What has everyone been up to? I called my family when I got back to the UK and I said, like, what have you been up to? Like, I've been away for a month. Like, what's new? What's been happening? And they were like, nothing. Like, we've literally just been at home doing nothing. You know what, if you're taking this time for yourself, reading, watching Netflix, like whatever you're doing, I know that most people are just working and stuff, but like whatever you're doing, just do you. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's okay. I actually love the shade. Does that lighting look better? I have no idea. I'm not sure. I feel like the last time I properly filmed, like Twee was here and sometimes we like to play around with stuff. Okay, so initial thoughts, what do I think of this collection? So I actually haven't had the pleasure of meeting Karen, but what I love is, I think this is everything in the collection, I'm not sure. I feel like what I love is the color aspect to it. It's giving me like, you know, like Ibiza, Flamingo, like cocktails, like this is absolutely amazing. And I feel like it will be a huge success because it's super cute and it will just it will just work. I've not actually seen many palettes with this color story in it before, but the one thing that I will say that stands out to me a little bit is that some of the shades do look quite similar. So maybe like these two over here, obviously I haven't swatched them, so I'm not gonna like say anything, but like these two over here, and maybe like these two over here and these two, they, you know, a, a little bit similar. I'm sure they will blend in and create the perfect graduation and that's what it's all about. But I love that there's cool tones, pink tones, like this kind of like turquoisey blue, like aqua blue kind of tone going through there as well. Beautiful palette, absolutely love it. I feel like it's very pastel, it's very cute. Do I like it? Yes, I love Morphe. So of course I'm gonna love it. And what am I gonna do to finish off? 
I think I'm gonna use something else on the lips because there's some newness as well. Let me go and grab them. We are back. <laughs> okay, so I have not that much left to go. We have a setting spray from Benefit Cosmetics, which is brand new. I'm dying to try that because I love a setting spray. And then we also have some lip products. We've got some from NARS in here, and these look super, super cute. They're called Air Matte Lip Colors. So they kind of look like that. And then we also have these from Hourglass, which are basically, they kind of just look like lipsticks, but they're very cool. They're very, very cool. It's kind of like, wow, they're heavy. Ooh. So yeah, they kind of look like this, but I think I'm gonna go with the last one. I'm just curious to try it. I will play with these later on. Let me know if you want me to do a little swatch video. Maybe I could do like a little IG reel or something swatching these. I did say there's a lot of newness, right? I did say that. Let's go ahead and do one of these um, products. Now, usually I have my own thing. I don't know what it is recently, guys. I've just been doing my thing in terms of makeup. Like I just kind of, you know, just play around. So let's have a look at this. Oh, this could work. This could definitely work. Okay, I'm gonna line my lips first, and then we're gonna apply this. All right, so we are back. Guess what, guys? We managed to get lashes on. Oh my God, I literally had to cut lashes in half and try and slot them in, because my lash curl is so curly. When I say I've never had lashes as curly as this, I feel like she just went super curl, which I love. But now I'm thinking this is not gonna work if I want to wear false lashes. So anyway, I managed to use one of my favorite pairs. It's the Isla Texture 117, and I just cut them in half and um, stuck them to the outer corner. But this is the look. Hi, how are you? <laughs> I feel crazy. I feel like the jet lag is definitely in. Anyway, we are gonna finish off with the lips. I'm gonna use this brand new product from NARS. It's called the Air Matte Lip Color. And all I've done right now is just lined my lips with a Morphe pencil. Uh, in shade Bite Me, and I'm just gonna pop this on. Wow, I was not expecting that texture at all. It's so creamy and so smooth. Oh wow, I really like this. Wow, <gasps> oh my God, I think this might make it to my new favorite lip combo. Okay, the shade I'm using, by the way, is called All Yours. I'm not sure if this is all of the shades, but in the collection that I got sent, we've got like a coral, a red, we have like a movie color, a kind of like more of an orangey red, and then a pink. Of course, I'm gonna go for the nude. But yeah, this is really nice. And now that our makeup is on, I'm gonna set it with a brand new setting spray. I feel like the mess in front of me if you guys know, I have a little bit of OCD. I like things very, very tidy. So the fact that there's all this mess in front of me means that it's been a productive video. Um, okay, so this is the brand new Pore Professional Super Setter Long Lasting Spray by uh, Benefit Cosmetics. And I'm so, so excited to try it. It is a fine micro mist pore blurring formula, which just sounds like insane. I am very, very particular when it comes to setting mists, not only for like the longevity of how it like keeps your makeup, but just because I use so much powder, I actually always want it to kind of get rid of that powdery feel, blend everything together and not feel too sticky. I'm gonna spray it right here. I'm gonna be very, very, not critical, but you know, I, my, my expectations are there and I don't know if you guys know what my favorites are, but I'm a huge fan of the Urban Decay All Nighter. That's just like the and also the brand new Charlotte Tilbury one, which if you need your makeup to be locked on, sis, that is the one. Okay, let's go ahead and pop this on. Oh wow, it's so fine. Ooh, it feels very, very nice. Okay, so let's have a look. Let's let that dry in a little bit. I've never, like it's been so long since I've worn this much makeup, I'm like, wait. Right, so whilst we are just letting this set into the face, I have to say it is very, light so like i said if you don't like that stickiness i think this is going to be amazing for you and i just noticed on the back it says helps lock in your makeup softens the look of pores and feels weightless so i'm definitely used to like a heavier spray i'm used to feeling very wet and then feeling it like on my skin so i'm not used to like not feeling it which is quite nice i definitely feel like it has blurred my skin, which I'm a huge fan because I do have open pores around my cheeks, but it's not giving me this whole like wet look. So very, very interesting. I would, if you want that little bit more dewiness, maybe use something else just on the cheeks, but I like it. I do like it. I love Benefit so, so, so much. I'm actually really surprised that they would come out with a product like this, but I feel like 
the professional range, like the professional primers, like one of my favorites, just for texture and stuff. So if this is the same family as that, I'm sure it's gonna be super cute. I'm maybe even gonna see how I get on with this and then come back to you guys with like how it's all like locking in. I've just realized I didn't even use any highlighter today, but I don't hate it. Do we hate it? No, I kind of like it. Anyway, it feels so strange to be back in the studio and in front of the camera. Obviously, you guys know that I've been vlogging this whole time, but I'm actually really used to that, so just like hold a camera and chat to you directly. Like to sit here feels very formal now. Like it feels very legit, but you know, this channel is all about like beauty, lifestyle, fashion. So of course you have to be back in the studio, you know? But yeah, okay. So I hope you guys have enjoyed watching me go through some brand new products. Um, some of the things that just really, really stand out to me are gonna be this Dior, um, like kind of face bronzer. I love this, it smells amazing, feels amazing, that just mm, mm, mm. Also the NARS lip colour I think is going to be definitely going straight into my makeup bag. I love the finish, it feels weightless on the lips and it's just super super creamy and moisturising. And then what else? Eye cream is a must by Ren, I love you so much, this is such a good product, it's definitely brightening underneath the eyes. And you can see even though I've got all that like concealer and makeup, it hasn't budged or anything which is insane. And lastly I would say another product that really stands out for me is going to be the the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Stick. Sis, Sis has brought it to the table. I would literally like, I love the Faux Filter, like the original one, but I do feel like it's very full coverage. And this is just like for everyone else. I feel like it's buildable. It looks beautiful in the skin. I love the way my complexion looks. So um, yeah, those are some of the few that really stood out for me. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this like PR unboxing and playing around with some stuff. It was definitely just like me pulling a look out of the bag. But it's so nice to be back here. Thank you so much for watching. And like always, I will see you on the next one. I love you guys. Stay safe, okay? Bye.